Yo, Darius Brick coming at you. So you want to record some dope audio? Let's talk about that. To record the best quality audio, they say the mic should be no more than three feet away from your talent. Doesn't matter what type of mic it is, shop mic, lavalier, doesn't matter. But oftentimes we find ourselves in situations where it's tough to get that close to our talent. Lav mics are great. You can hide them anywhere. They're super convenient, but for the purposes of this video, we'll assume that you don't have lav mics. My mic is currently mounted on my camera and I'm about a foot away, that's why it sounds so good. But if I use this same mic setup in a wide shot, it won't sound so good. The sound you're hearing right now is from the camera mounted mic, which is 17 feet away. Yeah, it doesn't sound so hot. In this situation, you'd get a crew member with a mic, a boom pole, and a sound recorder, and he'll be able to get closer to the talent to record better audio. If you don't have crew, you can mount your mics on a cheap mic stand. I've used these on a number of films. Just remember, as long as you get within three feet with your mic, you're good to go. I'm gonna keep saying it. If you're shooting a dialogue scene between two actors and you're short on crew, another thing you can do is have one of your actors hold a cell phone or a sound recorder to the other one just outside of frame. Where are you right now? Are you gonna help me? I recorded that whole scene using my cell phone. I didn't use any special apps, just the standard voice recorder app that comes with the phones. I had one of the actors record the other actor while I was shooting the close-ups. And they held it just outside of my frame. Like this. And if your cell audio sucks, get a sound recorder. The Zoom H1 is perfect for this. Again, as long as you're within that three feet, you're good. In a perfect world, our actors will be able to just focus on giving us that Oscar-worthy performance, but unfortunately, in the real world, sometimes you find yourself in predicaments where you don't have crew, or you don't have a budget, or you're shooting all by yourself. You still gotta get that sound, man. So how do we record sound in tight places like a car? While we're shooting a car scene, I can't get a boom in here. I don't have any labs on me. What do we do? These guys are amazing. They're called Petco Ultra Clamps. You can clamp them onto anything, and boy, do these things come in handy. You can even attach small cameras. This is a quarter 20. I mean, these things are super cheap, well worth the value. Now you can rig a sound recorder all types of places with this. Pick a spot where it's not gonna be seen. I guarantee you, you can rig something up. Doesn't matter. It only seems like it does. By the way, all these things that I mentioned, the clamps, mic stands, whatever, I'm gonna link all this stuff in the description section. But what if you don't have one of those? Well, your next best friend is good old gaff tape. Tape that puppy down, just make sure you don't cover the record button. You're gonna wanna set your levels though before you tape the recorder down because you're not gonna be able to adjust them for obvious reasons. Whatever you do, remember, if you're within three feet, you're good to go. But what if you were shooting a wide shot and you just can't get your sound guy close enough to record good audio? Well, you can hide a sound recorder in a shot somewhere. Again, on camera microphone, 17 feet away. This is what it sounds like. Now this sound is from the H1 Zoom. It's a lot closer. If you just take a second to think and get creative, you will be amazed at where you can hide a sound recorder. If there is no place to hide a mic, then you've got three options. Option one, get your mics as close as you can, and if the sound isn't completely terrible, record it anyway. We've all done it. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna whip out the tongue, cause you know that butt is sweat. My mic was about six feet away here. Option two, cut your dialogue down to the absolute minimum for that shot. We're talking one or two lines, maybe three. Shoot the wide shot and then re-record the lines with your actors later after you cut the film. Easiest thing to do is play the clips on the phone, have the actors watch it, give them a minute to feel it out, and then re-record the lines in the spirit of how they did it because, I mean, they're not gonna be able to redo it exactly the way they did it. Do about 10 or 20 takes, have your actors mix up the pacing of the delivery, get it in post, I guarantee you, you're gonna be able to sync up those lines. You may have to make a few tweaks, but it works. Backyard ADR. Option three, cut the dialogue in the wide shot completely if you had any lines and then move those lines just a little bit later in the scene where you'll be shooting coverage. Option four, just cut the wide shot. Like, do you really need it or is it just something nice to have? Every situation is different. 
Whatever your situation, that's something you're gonna have to decide for yourself. Choices, choices. Ideally, when you're doing your location scouts, you should be thinking, how would I record a scene here? When you're doing your shot listing, you should be planning how you're gonna record sound because by then you usually know if you're gonna have crew or not. On another note, the winner of the one year free subscription to Artlist giveaway is, wait for it, Angel Gonzalez. Don't worry, brother, I've already got your email. Look out for an email from me later today. Congrats! Oh, and Angel, if you don't take full advantage of this and download like three or 400 songs over the next year, I will personally come after you. I'm totally kidding, but not really. Well, that's all that I got for you. Please like, oh, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and wherever you are, keep hustling. Debert out. They would make a total of six stops on this traverse collecting samples from large rocks